Hey adjusters, today we're going to take a look at how to receive and send an assignment through exact analysis. Now, exact analysis is down at the bottom of your control center and you need to be connected to the internet in order to do this. But assuming you're connected to the internet, you simply click on the connect button here at the right hand side of exact analysis. It's going to connect to Xactimate and look for assignments, updates, and any other thing that you're lacking. And it will download these. Give it just a second. And when it does that, if you have an assignment coming to you, it will be placed in the inbox. See that right here? I've got an assignment and a read-only price list that will be used for this assignment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight and accept. Okay. And I'm going to highlight the checkpoint price list and accept. And I've just accepted an assignment from my um, player along with a price list, going, price list that is going to be used for purposes of reports. So give it just a second to finish accepting it. Okay. Now let's go over to the projects tab. And looking through our projects, we will see status A uploaded. Now A stands for assignment. Okay? That means it has been assigned to you. Now this one right here in bold is the assignment that I just received. See that A in progress? So I'm going to go ahead and open that one up. And here we are. We've just opened up the assignment that I received and it is for an insured named Bob Smith. Now notice that it comes pre-populated with the address, the phone number, date of loss, date received, and so on and so forth. And here's me as the claim rep. And let's take a look at coverage slash loss. There's the claim number, the policy number, the type of loss, policy limit. So you'll see that an assignment received often has a lot of the information already in it. Go to parameters. See this checkpoint price list up at the top? That's what we received along with this claim. It's going to allow them to do a number of things, including audit the claim as it comes in when they receive it to compare it to this uh, checkpoint price list, which cannot be modified. And you'll see there's an opening statement and uh, company header according to my defaults. And so, what we're going to do now for the purpose of this exercise is I'm just going to go ahead and go to Sketch here. And in Sketch, I'm going to put in a couple rooms. Doesn't really matter for the purpose of this exercise what size they are. Just do a couple 12 by 12 rooms. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some items to these rooms. I'm going to add items that I know from experience will have some conflicts when I try to um, when I try to complete this estimate. So I'm going to search the price list here for interior door. There's an interior door unit. So I've got both of these rooms highlighted. So I've actually placed an interior door list uh, unit in each of these rooms. Now I know for a fact that when I have an interior door unit, it's going to be looking for a, a lock set. Okay. Now I'm also going to uh, in here. I'm going to hit paint um, two coats. And I'm going to paint the walls and the ceilings in here with two coats. All right, and I'm going to do uh, paint one coat. All right, and paint the walls and the ceilings with one coat there. And uh, just for fun, I will um, paint uh, PMT uh, P paint 
Marty, see how it says uh, PNTP paint already exists in room one. Do I want to continue? Yes, I'm going to go ahead and add some extra paint in there. Okay, so I've added some interior door units and some paint, and uh, let's assume I've completed the estimate. So I'm going to go to complete. This is a necessary part of the process of uploading to exact analysis. Okay, now before I can uh, complete this estimate, I need to correct the date contacted. So let's go there. Here's the date inspected. Let's call it today. The date contacted. Let's call it today. And go back to complete. And change estimate status to completed. Okay, that's what I want to do. So I click on change to completed. Now here, look at it's got some warnings here. Some items may be confusing for estimate recipients. Correction of these items or adding notes about unusual circumstances should save time and improve your success potential. Okay. Note, to exit the inspection without making these corrections, click the close button and enter a note in the inspection bypass form. So we either have to go back and correct these issues in Xactimate so that we don't get this warning, or we have to leave a note as to why we are um, allowing these seeming errors. So I'm going to go ahead and just close this and I have to give it a note now. So this is going to show up when they receive this um, assignment back when I send it back. So I painted the extra walls because of blank and uh, I left the lock sets out because the doors currently installed do not have lock sets. Okay. And I'm going to do a spelling check. Okay. Ignore that. Okay. Hit OK. All right. Do I want to resequence the line numbers? You bet. All right. I've changed my status to complete with some errors and a note about the errors. Okay. Now, back to the process of receiving and sending an estimate in exact analysis. We've received an estimate, we've completed it, and we uh, have changed its status to complete. Now I'm going to go up to the top right and go to print. Okay. And I have to hit upload under the estimate reports. Okay, so let's go to upload. Okay, now this says the reports you uploaded have been sent to the out box. Connect to exact analysis to complete the upload. Hit OK and close. Now I'm done here with this project. I can save and exit out of the project. And I'm going back to the control center. At the bottom of the control center is exact analysis. Now, if you notice, if I go to the view of the outbox, there is the report that I'm going to be sending out. Okay. I simply connect. It sends the report along with all the information that exact analysis connects about how much time I've spent doing this and what changes I've made, the notes about the violations, sends it all up to the company. Okay. And I'm done. So, once again, to receive, I go to the control center, Hit connect. I'll receive my projects in the inbox. I have to highlight and accept them. I do a complete the assignment. I go to complete. I change its status to complete. Then I go to print, upload, puts it in the outbox. And then I hit connect again. 
and I've sent my report or my assignment back to my employer. And that is how to receive and send an assignment using exact analysis. Thank you.